Hungary has been ordered to pay a 200 million euro, 169 million pounds fine for its refusal to uphold the rights of asylum seekers in what was described as unprecedented breach of EU law by the bloc's highest court. The European Court of Justice in Luxembourg also ordered Budapest to pay 1 million a day until it complies with the EU guaranteeing refugees the right to claim asylum inside Hungarian borders. In a major judgment issued on Thursday, the court said Hungary has shown deliberate evasion in applying EU policy, which described as an unprecedented and exceptional serious infringement of EU law and a significant threat to the unity of EU law and to the principle of equality of the member states. You see, this one now, it is Hungary they are contending with that Hungary has failed to apply the EU law and Hungary has been sanctioned to pay 200 million euros as fine and one, equivalent to 169 million pounds and they will be paying 1 million a day till they comply with this law. You know, sometimes some of these countries or some of these bodies or organizations has to be very careful. Yes, this kind of, is not wrong for people to have a different opinion. Yes. Because these are some of the things that give birth to many organizations that we know today that from the very onset they were not there because of people's dissatisfaction, they will decide to leave a certain union and they might then join forces together with other dissatisfied countries and then form their own union. This today is Hungary the EU is contending with. Look at what is happening in Netherlands. The far right now is now planning to pass the strictest asylum policy that we discourage people from Africa and uh, United Arab Emirates from coming to Holland to seek asylum. And as time, as time goes by, things evolve, people evolve, and the critical issues in Europe, they are not handling it properly by implementing policies that make salaries to be increased every year because high cost of living the cost of living is skyrocketing every year. They are not even building affordable housing schemes or social housing schemes. And these are the things that is pushing the third generations to the far right. And as time goes by, more and more countries will feel dissatisfied with this EU. Yes, and some other countries are already dissatisfied. Maybe they don't have the boldness like Hungary to take a stand. And by the time they see the way the EU is treating this Hungary issue, and if Hungary might be forced to apply to leave EU, and before you know, other dissatisfying members might decide to leave EU. If EU don't handle this issue with utmost care, this might lead to dismembering of EU. Yes, because with the time, by the time the Netherlands government now pass their own law, then it's no longer Hungary alone. They have Netherlands to contend with. Yes. And with time, you will see that other countries will start arising and saying they can't accept this, they can't accept that. It's only time we talk. We will see how Hungary will respond to this issue and how the EU and the Hungary will handle this issue so it does not get seriously out of hand.